Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial in Natron. In this video, we're going to be using and playing with the merge node, which lets us merge two different images or objects and have them go into the same viewer so we can view them at the same time. So to get started, I'm going to read in a background. So I'm going to go to these image nodes and go to read. And it brings up the dialog. Natron's asking, what file do you want to bring in? And I'm going to do this background. It's like a 19... 80 by 10, or 1920 by 1080 background so that matches our project size perfectly now we have this nice white textured background and I want to bring in a logo and have it be like right in the center of this background so to do that first of all let's let's read in the logo so I let's do another read node it brings up a dialog box and I want to read in this uh, this little TJ logo it says TJ on it and it's just out here in nowhere. Maybe let's maybe we want to put it in. So maybe we'll tie it to the viewer as well. Might be an intuitive thing that you think. But if we do that, it just shows up on the viewer. So we see it, but it's not showing on the background. It's not. It, it, this is 800 by 800, so it should be smaller than our background. We should be seeing our background right now, or, or not. And actually, no, we shouldn't be because we're actually. Basically, we're, we don't, that's not the way to do it. What we're going to do is we need a merge node. We need to merge these two things together and then have one output going to the viewer. So let's add a merge node. I have nothing selected right now. There's no white box around any of these three nodes. And we're going to click on this. It looks like two layers, like two sheets of paper on top of each other, and go down to merge. And now we have a merge node. Merge has an A input, a B input, A2 has a mask, and it has this output at the bottom. This bottom one's just the output. So let's break this one. So left click and just drag off into space and then unclick and then the, our viewer's disconnected. The B is for background. You always want to put your background to the B pipe of a merge node. So we'll add in B right there. And the A will be for the object that we want to be on top of the background. So that's going to be, in this case, our logo. So I'll click and drag up to there. I could also just drag from this into here. And so we now we have an A going into the merge node, a B going into the merge node. And if we double click and look at the settings on this merge node, well, first of all, let's tie it in. So we have, we have these going into the merge node and then coming out of the merge node, we want to go to our viewer and see what's going on. So now we can see we have a background. We have, that's the exact size of our background. Nothing's changed. We have our logo that's the size we brought it in so if you're following along and doing the same thing if your logo is larger than your background you'll need to resize it and or if it's too small you could resize it if your background's this different than your project so we can make changes to these before we merge them in and we're going to do that here actually uh, but then we're going out to our viewers let's double click on the merge node and see what options we have so we have options for this operation uh, is basically what type of merge do we want it, are we doing? Right now it's called over, which is taking the A and putting it over top of the B. So that's what over does. But, and if you, if you hover over top of this, it shows you all the options for different things. And if we click on it, it shows us all these, right? And it shows us like kind of the math behind it. If we hover over it, it shows us all these different things we can do. Divide, mask, hue, from, and so you can just kind of play with these. It's a good idea to go through and see what happens when you do different ones. So look, average is like, it's a little bit lighter. And look, it's not showing the blue anymore. When I had the over, oops, where'd over go? It showed the logo exactly how it was. But when we do average, now like the background's a little bit faded and like this is faded and like part of the colors are just completely transparent. So different operations do different things. That freeze looks way cool, right? So look, it's bringing through the background. You can see the texture background coming through on the logo, but you can't see the background anywhere else. Um, what else do we have? There's like just lots of things. Just so, so go through and play with these. So if we mask, it's taking the size, just the outline of this object and masking and only showing that portion of the background through there. So there's different uses for a lot of these different things. If you're using like green screen, for example, or trying to like map an object over, um, or like take out a certain color for a background, uh, then you would use different ones of these. But this is basically what the merge is doing. And so just know that there's more than one way to merge 
So over is a very simple merge. It just puts this over top of it, and that's it, and then the, the output goes. But just note there's lots of different operations, and we'll be playing with some of those in future tutorials. But for the time being, I would go through every one of these and just test and see what happens when you do it and get kind of familiar with the different operations of the merge node. Um, and then you can do multiple merge nodes too. So let's say we want to read in a, a another, or let's say we want to do, let's add some text. So if we want to bring in text, uh, we go to this draw and we go to dr uh, text. And now we have a text node. And over here is the options for our text. So it says enter text here. We can just change this and say, hello world. And so now our text says, hello world. We can bring it wherever we want. Let's bring it to the very top. But by default, it just it put it into our viewer, and we want it to be over top of our background with our logo, and it's just not working. Everything's black. It's because we have two different views into our viewer now. And if we select nothing and we just hit one, we can see what's showing on viewer uh, on pipe one of the viewer. If we hit two, we can see what's showing on pipe two of the viewer, but they're not merged together. And if we were to write this out, we could either write out just the text we'd have a little video saying hello world or we could write out oops we could write out just uh, this merge node and it would show just this but it wouldn't have the two at the same time so let's do another merge node so nothing selected right now let's go to these uh, merge tools and add a merge node and now we have another merge node so let's say we want this to still be the background so let's add the background to be this merge node so what this means is the output of these two is not going to the viewer for yet. It's going into this merge node. And then the object to go over top, since we're on over, on merge two, we're also still doing over by default. The text is going to be over top of whatever this pipe is bringing in, which we know this pipe is bringing in a background plus a logo over top of it. And then let's send the whole thing out to the viewer. Hopefully this makes sense. It's kind of a little bit, it takes a second to wrap your head around, but let's just walk through it again. So we've got this, our merge node, then we have our second merge node, which is merging in text, and then we have our viewer down here. So we see we have our text. Maybe let's change the color of that so we can make it more dramatic. So under the text, um, is this it? Yeah. So we'll make it like a blue text. So now it says, hello world. We have our text over here. We have our logo here, and we have our background. Um, and why not? I'm just, I'm just let's move this logo since you're probably really going to want to do this if you're if you're doing something like this. Since you, let's move this logo to the middle. If you try and click and drag, it's not moving. The text is because text lets you lets you move it, but just this image getting merged in is not letting us move it. We need to add some additional functionality to this image. We need to add a transform node. So let's click over here. There's, there's these arrows, which kind of like indicates movement or changing. We could crop the image. We could mirror it. We could apply some different things to it, but we want to transform it. Transform means, right, like we can scale it, change the size of it, change the way, change some of the physical properties of it, but also it gives us a circle just like the text has so that we can move it around. So we can transform and move its location on this background. Uh, we can change the size of it too. So if we go over here, so this transform node, when it's double clicked, the properties for it will be in the top right hand corner and we have a scale. So we can scale it down and make it really small. We can scale it up and make it bigger than the whole background. But so there we go. So we've moved it and scaled it. And again, we're not doing any animation. Um, in some of the earlier uh, tutorials, we talked about the timeline and setting keyframes. But right now we're, we have one frame and one frame only, and nothing's happening in this project. It's just, we're just playing with the way things look. Uh, in, a, in a couple of future videos, we, we can talk about animating this. You can probably figure it out. You set the keyframe and you can actually make this slide in. Then you can have the text, you know, come in, be off screen and fall down, you know, and then you can uh, create a little animation video just using these objects. So I think I'm gonna end this video here. But uh, go ahead and play with these merge nodes and play with doing it over. Um, I mean, play with the operation, right? So you change all these, and it just really makes things. Um, you really want to learn how to use this, the merge tool because 
in compositing, everything is merging. You're always bringing in multiple objects and merging them together. So the merge tool is very important to understand and have a good, a good solid grasp of how it works. Um, and again, so we, we brought in images and maybe in some of the next videos we'll bring in video. So you could actually have this be a moving, changing background. And so when you play it, there's actually movement happening in the background and then you're animating objects on top of it. So really cool, powerful stuff. We're just scratching the surface. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe if you found this video informative, and we'll catch you on the next video.